Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to That's That Podcast. I ain't done one of these in a while because I don't catch these on sale anymore. And I'm at the thrills at three, right at four bucks. It's not horrible for what you get, but I like paying a little less. I'm cheap. But recently, these are DC Super Friends Imagine X Series 7. I found, found these. Decent price. Oh, didn't have my autofocus on there. Sorry, folks. So I'm just opening up, see what I got. Okay, looking at the package, I want, I think that's supposed to be Bronze Tiger. I want him. I want Wildcat. I want Killer Moth. And that's about it. I got five. There's six in the line. So hopefully I will not duplicate anything, but you never know. Okay, is there any, there's not really a nick on these, is there? I just got to rip them. I'll get scissors. I ain't going to try to rip that next shit flyer, but I'll get my big ass scissors. I'm in the kitchen. Is, yeah, I might as well just go walk across and chop, 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 chop. Get some big ass scissors. So. Ooh, there we go. Who we got? Who we got? Oh, we got some swords. That's kind of cool. Come on. We got. I don't know who this is. We got some swords. Just you wait and see. Why is everybody always picking on me? Don't know why, but that song has been stuck in my head for like two days now. Okay, I bet you they're supposed to go like this way. I know all y'all getting is a really nice close up of my hairy ass arms, but cool little figure. I don't know who the hell it is. Make some kind of ninja. I'm eventually, my plan is, eventually I might do, I did it one time, I did a uh, Pez-based comic strip. Just a little flyer. Let's just see. That is Talon. We got Killer Moth, Killer Walsh or King Walsh, Wildcat with the, I got that punching thing already. That is Bronze Tiger, and then we got Batman. So we got Talon. That's who we got. But I did a comic strip based on pictures. Take pictures, add war balloons, and shit like that. Did it for a little while. Quit, but I'm thinking about doing one. Maybe I'm following these Imagine I got a pile. Okay. Number two. Oh, it's open. Come on, something good, something good. Ah, Killer Maw. Fuck yeah. Does he come with anything? I doubt. Oh, oh, he's got a gun. Hell yeah, kill. Everybody run. Killer Maw's got a gun. Get in your hand there, Killer Maw. Oh man, that is bad. Oh, that's a wicked looking figure. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I'm happy already. What I paid, I'm happy. Even though I still got three more to go, I'm very happy because I got that. That is a wicked. You can tell how cool it is on the packaging. And I know you can sit here and feel and kind of figure out. Should I go in there? You know, when I find them and they're cheap, I grab a handful. Okay, come on. Am I good? Am I good? Come on. Another killer moth. Well, oh, that's cool. Well, I'll have two killer moths. One will be left handed and one will be right handed. That's how I distinguish them. This is left handed killer moth. This is right handed killer moth. They team up and double shoot people. Okay, come on, Wildcat and Bronze Tiger. Don't be a killer moth. Oh, and it is Batman. Okay, it's a grappler. I'll say Batman with a gun. Oh, shit. I know a certain whiny ass fanboy that would bitch. Oh, well, go Batman's go. Batman never uses them. Motherfucker never used the old mate shit. Uh, what about Final Crisis? <laughs> Batman has used gun. He just does not like to. It ain't like he won't. You know, it's kind of like, you know, people, Captain America won't kill. Really? You believe that? The character was created and fought in World War II. Created around the era of and fought in World War II. He won't kill them. Okay. So again, the there he is right there. One of my favorites. Cap is kind of the reason I said fuck it. Join the army out of all the branches. That and the Air Force being a bunch of buttholes about stuff. It's weird with the Air Force. They wanted me. Okay, I'm six foot three. I walked into an Air Force recruiting office when I was. I was six foot two then. I was fifteen. I was in high. That was my first year of high school. Fifteen. Walked to Air Force recruiting office. Like, look, I'm six foot two. I'm probably about two, two twenty, two fifteen. You know, I, I got a little pudge, but yeah, I can burn it off quick. All right, yeah, yeah. And I showed him my ass. I said, oh yeah, we really want you. You know, 
You know, they're looking at my grades going, okay, well, you know, you did good in elementary school, junior high, average student, high school, average student, but, you know, that ain't a problem. And then they go, well, let's, you know, let's go do, yeah, they go, let's go check something. And they had a height weight chart. Like, they went by, if you're this tall, you had to be this weight or under. I had to be 185 pounds. I was six foot, no, 100 and, it was less than that. It was like 180. I'm like, I'm six foot two. My doctor told me never get under 200. I got a kind of big frame. So I ended up walking out front, and I'm sitting there going, oh, fuck, I ain't going to the military. And they popped them, hey, man, Captain America was in the Army. And the Army recruiter could walk out. I was like, man, what's wrong? I told him. And I bummed a cigarette off of him. He's like, what's wrong? I told him. He's like, come on in. He goes, we do body fat percentage. He goes, you're probably, he goes, you're probably really good. I came in. He's like, yeah, you're right. He goes, you'd be up to like 215. We'll take you. Captain America. Okay, come on. Good one. <gasps> Brad Stagger! Woo! Oh, yeah, baby. Bronze Tiger. Man, so happy. Oh, oh, that pops out of one hand, but I don't care. I got a bronze. So I did good. I got a killer moth and a bronze tiger, an extra killer moth. I've got a pile of Batmans. I need to do a video. I have, like, the first Batcave they put out for Imagine X, the big tall one. I have the Gotham Jail. I have a like, egyptian theme place that I have a dragon. I got a couple small dinosaurs from one of the Jurassic World series. And I got a pile of Batmans. What it was is my only my oldest cousin on my mother's side. She's like five years older. Her her youngest got heavy into Imagine X, and then he was wanting to get rid of it. So she's like, "Hey, go through. See if there's anything you want." I took all the Imagine X. So the only thing he had that he wanted to keep was he had the Imagine X big walking, talking Bigfoot, which. I got a feeling it was more she wanted to keep it because she knew it could resell for a decent price back then. Because I said, I was like, yeah, I think so. You know, back then, you could probably get 75 bucks or used one easy. I don't know what it go for now. It was quite a few years ago. So she wanted to keep it in, you know, kitchen anyway, trash, you can get rid of it quick. Because I wasn't going to sell it, I was going to hold on to it. But yeah, that happened. Yeah, fucking man. I love Imagine X. And warn, oh, I'll put a warning. Note to self, put a warning to friends on this video. Foul language. Just because I'm talking about kids' toys, I mean, I ain't going to drop, you know, 20 F bombs in this. I need to do a new trailer for this channel. Like, hey, look, I say fuck a lot. Don't let your kids watch. I had a guy say something. I apologize. Hey, dude, if you're still watching, I'm sorry. I'm sorry your kid was running around saying the F word. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not around kids that often. The few I am around, their parents have pretty much you know, let them know you do not repeat what you hear Mr. So-and-so here saying. So, you know how it is. I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed them. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Bronze Tiger! Wow, man, I wish I had two. One to be on the dash of my car. I do have an Imagine X on my dash. I have a swamp thing. I'm kind of pissed because I only have one swamp thing. I'm thinking about going out there with some shit to break the glue and pull them out. I got a swamp thing to fight with. I'm out, everybody. Laters.